In this video, we're going to compare the Google Cybersecurity Certification against the CompTIA Security Plus Certification. I've talked about both of these certifications separately, but never actually compared them against each other, and a lot of you have requested me to do so. At the end of the video, I'll be giving you some secret tools for success in cyber, so make sure you stick around, but throughout, we'll be giving you a big comparison, and hopefully you'll know which cert you need to take for your career. Starting off with the Google Cybersecurity Certificate, it's an eight course series that will teach you the skills you need to protect networks, devices and people all from unauthorized access and cyber attacks and it's heavily tailored for beginners and there's no expected prerequisites. So to compare we obviously need to look at what the certification involves and it involves around 170 hours of instruction, it has practice based assessments and it has portfolio ready projects that try to stimulate real world scenarios which are critical for success in the workplace. It's one of the things that you see when a lot of people are coming out of like university or just studying by themselves, they're not prepared for the real world. So that's what this tries to do. And altogether, it works out roughly to be about six months at seven hours a week. Obviously you can do that a lot faster. And if you look on YouTube, you'll see people saying they completed it in a week or they completed it in two weeks. So it just depends on how you want to go about doing it and it has a mix of videos, assessments and hands-on labs which are really important to grasp that understanding completely. So now you have that overall picture of what it involves, let's look at exactly what topics are covered within it and you can see there is a range of different topics here all for your understanding. So even though there are a number of topics here, you don't have to individually go through all of them to sit and complete the certification. If you're already well versed in one area, say for example, you're already quite familiar with Linux and SQL because of a previous job or because of your degree, then you can skip that section. It's not something you have to sit through. So if foundations of cybersecurity is something you really need, along with automating with Python, then you can sit those and pay more attention in those sections before you complete the exam. So it's really up to you and it helps you decide and see where your knowledge is at where you, and where you need to get to. However, it's worth noting that even though some of these you might already have skills in, some of them you'll carry forward for the rest of your career in cybersecurity, such as assets, threats and vulnerabilities. So even if you think you do know quite a bit of it already, it's still worth sitting through it just to make sure you have that foundational understanding. So now you know what topics are involved in the certification and how exactly you go about the whole course, let's talk about the actual advantages of the Google Cybersecurity Certification. I've summed them up into three main advantages which are reputation, time and the dual credential. So one of the biggest advantages to this is its employer recognition and once completing it you can apply directly for jobs with Google or over 150 employers in the US alone including the UK. That in itself should show you that if they're valuing the cert then you should value it too. It's not just been given by anyone, it's been developed by subject matter experts at Google. Then looking at the time factor, it, as I said before, it can be completed with under six months uh, which can then lead you on to better qualifications or higher up qualifications and that's quite a quick time period even though you might think six months is not that long for all this knowledge within six months is quite a good area of skill so if you can do it even quicker that's even better but of course that's down to how much knowledge you have already and how much you need to learn that slightly leans on to the final one of a dual credential so the Google Cybersecurity Certification can lead on to the CompTIA Security Plus Certification which we're comparing against in this video. So that's a big benefit because if you're not ready for the Security Plus Certification, you can take this first and then achieve a discount for the Security Plus Certification which is recognised by many more employers and is probably one of the most popular certifications. But before we go on to that, let's discuss my final topic which is the types of jobs you can get with this certification. So of course, once completing this cert, you can go into a various amount of jobs. The ones on screen are just as an example, as they're probably one of the main ones that people are looking to apply for if they're doing this cert. However, it preps you for such a wide a range of jobs. So do definitely do your research before doing the cert. Now that you have all that information though, let's look at comparing this against the CompTIA Security Plus certification. In comparison to the Google one, the Security Plus cert will focus a lot more on cybersecurity. However, you can think of it 
as more of a focused version of the Network Plus cert and the A Plus certification by CompTIA as well. This cert is probably one of the most popular in cybersecurity and you'll see most beginners either talking about this or going for this one. And of course it does hold that for a reason, it is compliant with ISO 17 or 24 standards and it's approved by the US Department of Defense. And it also holds its reputation amongst employers as you'll see a lot of roles asking for this specific cert. However, just for our comparison video, looking at this exam specifically, it's a 90 minute exam and it has 90 questions. It's also refreshed every three years to make sure it's up to date. So when you are revising, you want to make sure that you're revising from the current set and you're not using any old information. And in terms of what topics are on the exam, you can see that we've laid out seven topics here, which cover a variety of cybersecurity foundational concepts that are all really important. And in comparison to the Google one, you will have to revise these all as they will all be on the exam and you'll have to make sure you know each topic individually. This cert is requested by employers for many reasons, but the main reasons obviously being by what is covered in the exam. Attacks, threats, vulnerabilities, identity access management, cryptography, all of this is very key knowledge you need for being a cybersecurity analyst. That then nicely leads us on to the advantage of this cert. So as a vendor neutral certification, it prepares you for many cybersecurity jobs. And because its reputation is so high, it is valued amongst loads of employers and you'll see them requesting it on job applications. So it's definitely one that you should consider. And time wise, this is mainly down to how much knowledge you already have, but it's definitely something you can complete quickly. It does not require a year or more to start revising and practicing for it. However, like I said, it does go down to what knowledge you already have. And in terms of jobs, it's pretty similar in terms of it being so wide. So you can get different types. And these are just examples like a security engineer or an analyst or a network or cloud engineer. There are loads of roles out there that accept the Security Plus certification. It just depends what catches your interest. So what do we think if we're actually comparing both of these? By now and after everything I've talked about I'm hoping you'll be along the same lines and you'll understand exactly where I'm coming from but you can see that the Google Cyber Security Certificate is for people at the very beginning of their IT career so someone who's probably not been in it before and requires that foundational knowledge whereas the Security Plus is for someone who's maybe had a bit of IT experience or has previously worked in the IT field and just wants to get a bit more of a cyber security feel. The Google Cert is a lot newer and it's gained lots of recognition across the industry as being really good and really helpful to people that are either struggling or need that knowledge. So it's definitely a really good one that I do recommend and I have recommended to many people. However, a big side note that I want to mention here is that just gaining these certs will not help you get a job on its own. You will need to do things on the side like proving your knowledge by other certs or just gaining some initial work experience in the IT field. And you'll need to show them that you're constantly willing to upskill by using tools like Hack the Box where you can learn to hack and using different guides, all of which I've linked down below in the description. That'll be really helpful to you. You can use my Get Started in Cybersecurity guide. You can join my Discord where we talk about interview tips and techniques. All of that will help you gain your job and help you be successful in the cybersecurity field.